Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just another update, so basically she's all in. Intake set up, piping done, battery relocations done. So I've taken it for a drive. I made it for about half an hour, 40 minutes, come back, just to make sure everything's all right. So I haven't put the heat shield back on yet. So I'll go over all those 12 point darts on the titanium studs. Make sure they're all nice and tight. I've drained the, the coolant, so um, I'll show you underneath. So that's a drain, it's not leaking. Yeah, and all the to the four inch dump, high flow cat, a bit hard to show you. <laughs> so high flow cat, three and a half inch exhaust system all the way to the back. I'm not going to go all the way down. Uh, there she's all in. So um, yeah, there you go. Alright, I'll keep moving on. Alright guys, now it's time to put the coolant in. So this is the way I do it. I fill it from, I'll take the thermostat out and I'll fill it from there. Once that's full, then you can start topping it up from the reservoir. Alright, well um, I'll get stuck into it. Back. Uh, also, guys, only use distilled water. Do not use tap water. You want distilled water because it's just got none of the minerals and everything else in it. It's just pure water, so it's not going to eat it or your metal parts in your engine. So, um, yeah, the problem I think a lot of guys have with the heat exchanger on the ZFs while they fail is because they've used tap water. So. Um, yeah, I've always used distilled water in my coolant systems. I've never had a problem. Yeah, that's what I would do, guys. All right, I'll keep moving on. All right, guys, you can see the water getting close to the top of the thermostat housing there. So I just squeeze this bottom hose. You can see the air coming out. I just try to get as much as I can get out as possible. Just give it a few squeezes. You can see it's then just keep topping it up. Yeah, it's pretty good. No more air is coming out. So I'll put the thermostat back in, put the the top on, tighten it all, tighten it up. And then I'll just go to the reservoir and start filling it from there. And obviously start it up and let everything settle. And if I have to top it up, I'll top it up. But you can get it pretty close by doing it like this anyway. But at least you can go for a drive and you don't have to wait till the thermostat opens. So um should run cool. Well, not get too hot anyway before the thermostat opens. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is...